both the military and the McLaren were trying to use ultrasound technology in their solutions, which is why we have chosen to use ultrasonic transducers in our design as well. Now, one of the, one of the most cheap and widely available transducers on the market is a PA, one that uses a piezoelectric crystal slab. And, and that's, the, that's a, a substance where if you apply it with a, a bias, a voltage, the atoms will either align with that field or not, which will cause either an expansion or a contraction. Now, when you apply an AC signal to it, you can see that's going to give us a very high frequency expansion and contraction at whatever frequency we're giving for that signal. Now, normally, I will, well, we, plan, we plan to take one or more of those transducers and put them on the windshield to oscillate the windshield, and that will propel the debris. Normally, a transducer needs a driver's seat, but instead we decided to go with the microcontroller because that, that gives us not only flexibility if we need to change the signal later, but also it allows us to later implement a, rem a remote so we can control it wirelessly. Now, the, the microcontroller produces the signal, it's a 40 kilohertz square wave, by changing the, one of the pins, toggling it from a 3.3 volts, it's on max state, to low, it's zero volts, min state. Now, for next semester, we plan to amplify the power, because right now we do not have enough, and the 3.3 volts is not going to be enough to remove any debris, and also, One of the things that differentiates our product from, say, what the McLaren might be trying to do is they're trying to install the device in with cars. Now, that's that, you know they make very expensive cars. That's not going to come down into later generations of cars for a while. We want to something that someone can just buy and put in their car. Very easy user installation. And the last thing that we want to do is we want to make sure that that, that has some sort of wireless remote because we don't want them you know, reaching up to where the is, but to where put it somewhere down where their um, where their windshield wiper controllers would be. I don't, you know, the little it, it's a different inch car, but down by somewhere somewhere down by. The, uh, that is the end of my presentation. Are there any questions? You know what? Windshield wipers in some cars they automatically wipe nowadays. Mm -hmm. It'd be much better to do that than having it make the person go reach down and fuck with a knob to do it again. Yeah, you're right. And we, we, we have thought of that. We, we consider that that's something we'll do once we've already managed to get it to do what we want. Um, but yeah, yes, no, my, I, I know my, my mom had a car like that. Now, sometimes their sensors mess up and the sun's too hot. But yeah, yeah, that, that's something we would look into after we get the rest of our, what, what, what we originally planned to do. So you say that you can remove water and light debris. Light debris. Now, we don't, 
as far as the actual physics of it, it working or not, I don't think it's going to depend too much. Like the, the electronics, yes, but I think that that's going to largely depend on the, the specs of our microcontroller and our transducer, whether or not they operate. <coughs> Maybe silly, but do you know if it had like if it uh, impairs the um, the strength of the glass at all? If something were to hit it. We have not. I mean, we haven't done any CAD tests yet. We we think we're we're in the range where at our at, at 40. I want you if you if you went to a much higher frequency. Right now we're at 40 kilohertz, but if you went to you know more of the megahertz, then we start to be getting where you know yeah we would be damaging the integrity. Down to 40 kilohertz, we think we're going to be fine. Yeah, and to add, we chose 40 kilohertz because it's it's a high enough frequency where uh, it's above human hearing range, but it's still low enough where we won't cause damage to the windshield, and we also can readily. 